Welcome to Thought for March the 18th. Our readings are Leviticus chapter 26, Psalms 137 through to 139, and Luke chapter 9. And our thought is, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Do you, do I, want God to really know my heart? The concluding words of David's Psalm 139 are some of the most challenging in Scripture. It seems obvious that David wrote it when he had formed a most intimate relationship with God. He declares, How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! If I would count them, they are more than the sand. I awake, and I am still with you. Verses 17 and 18. David's meditations in this psalm are most meaningful. He had a sense of being really with God and God with him. How intensely personal is his closing appeal to the Almighty? Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there is any grievous way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. But that leading by God comes at a price. The surrender of self, of our human inclinations to God's leading. David surely knew that Moses wrote at God's direction. We read it today in Leviticus chapter 26. The first 13 verses list all the blessings to come on the nation if they will truly serve their God who has delivered them from slavery in Egypt. I will make my dwelling among you, says God. I will walk among you and will be your God, and you shall be my people. David was leading the people to do this. He would have fallen asleep in death, convinced that his son Solomon would complete what he had begun in making the nation, God's people. His psalm explains a vital underlying factor in serving God, that Observing God's laws must be followed by an attitude of heart and mind that achieves a personal relationship with God. Sadly, the rest of Leviticus 26, which details the actions of God when there is a failure to obey his laws, came terribly true for most who journeyed to the promised land under Moses. Our awareness of the light and darkness of the paths of life is vital for our eternal health. They are excellently summed up in the words of Jesus in the last verse of our Luke reading in chapter 9 today. No one who puts his hand to the plough and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. Our innermost thoughts as we prayerfully read God's words each day will help to keep us looking forward. Thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that it is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.